What's up guys, it's Powerbang here and I am providing you a guide this time on how you can pretty easily take out most any Town Hall 10 for two stars uh, using the brand new Earthquake spell. Now there's been a lot of controversy so far about the new Earthquake spell and whether or not it should be used in lieu of a jump spell. Uh, there's been comparisons to the jump spell, which is better, etc, etc. Um, my opinion is that if you're going for two stars, uh, there is no reason uh, to fiddle around with the jump spells on bases that have lots of compartments and walls that you can easily take out uh, to help funnel your troops towards the town hall. Now the first key to, to know is that it takes four earthquake spells of any level to take out any level of wall. So that would mean that the lowest level earthquake spell, level one, four of them will take out a level 11 wall. Uh, it will also take four maxed Earthquake spells to take out even a level one wall. So um, the leveling up of the Earthquake spell, if you're using it for the purpose of taking out walls, there's no point in leveling it up right now. Uh, so don't worry about that. But, you know, there might be some tweaks to it down the road. Uh, so keep an eye on it. So what you want to do with the Earthquake spell, we'll take a look at a raid here. Um, you don't have to worry as much about taking a big army for your Town Hall push. Now, in this particular raid, P-Dunk sends a giant to distract the initial defenses while sending in a small group of hogs to take out some uh, uh, point defenses and get some buildings taken out. And the reason this is helpful is to uh, go ahead and clear the area of defenses. That way he can drop just a few archers to go ahead and trim the outside of the base. That is going to get him valuable percentage that he needs to make up 50%. Now, if you look what he's done here uh, with the Earthquake spell, I call it the Quad Quake for all f uh, four of those, uh, he has taken out this junction here that gets him uh, into the Town Hall. Now, what that does is for later on when he does his push, that opens up all of this area here uh, for his ground troops, and they will not have to worry about walls in that area at any point in time. So once he gets into that compartment, he'll have a straight shot at the Town Hall and the heroes, and uh, he'll be able to very easily take out that town hall. After that, it's just a matter of saving a little bit of troops uh, so you can take out the buildings that you need uh, to get that 50%. So let's go ahead and watch the end of this raid and see exactly how he does it. Uh, we'll fast forward through the CC kill here where he pulls the Lava Hound and Balloon up top, and he's going to go ahead and eliminate that. Now, after that hound explodes, the troops take that out. Notice where they're going to enter the base. It is in the same spot where he cleared uh, those initial defenses with his hogs, and look at all that free percentage that he's going to pick up. Now, if you look around the base, there's also some other buildings here that he can take out uh, without uh, really taking too much fire. But first, he's going to go ahead and send in two golems and back them up with a bunch of wizards. Now, there's going to be a team of max level giants go down and some wall breakers to go ahead and break them into the base. Now, Pekka's and his clan castle uh, and heroes will basically follow in the lead group of giants and golems, and they're going to head into the base. Now, as they approach the first Inferno Tower, you're going to drop the free spell on it, and then basically approach it with a rage spell and your giants, and they will quickly take it out. This is going to free up the town hall to be taken out uh, just like so, and then the uh, kill squad is going to continue to move through the base and take just about everything out. Uh, so the town hall is in hand here. Everything's kind of, you know, being taken care of. Well, look what he's held back at this point. He's held back a giant and three wizards, as well as ten archers or so, and he's going to drop that to distract one of those defenses. Uh, the wizards come in behind, and he's able to secure the last remaining percent that he needs to go ahead and pick up that 50% two-star. Uh, very nice and efficient raid by P-Dunk. Let's go ahead and watch it again uh, on another base here. Let's look at the plow and an attack by BMG. Same exact style of base, it's a dragonflower base, lots of compartments, uh, but notice the same tactic here. The giant first, followed by a few hogs. He's gonna clean up some uh, buildings here on the outside, and that's going to allow him some easy percentage. The quad quake goes down, takes out the junction, and if we pause it here, we're gonna notice that there is a very, very easy path now to enter the base right here and get straight to that town hall, and notice that all of this area now unlocked basically by that uh, earthquake spell. Uh, so very good job. All he has to do is funnel this area here and make sure those buildings go down so his troops that he drop go straight into the core. So let's go ahead and watch as he does that. 
Lava Hound is going to go up top again and be destroyed in the same place uh, that those buildings were taken out on the lure, and that's going to allow any troops that are left over from the kill to go ahead and enter the base and very cheaply uh, take out those buildings. So those uh, archers are in uh, use up there up top, and there's some archers picking off the bottom here uh, for any free buildings that are left available to you. So the golems come into the main spot that was taken out by the earthquake spell, again backed up by the wizards, and notice how he sends the giants backing those golems up. He sends in some pekkas and his heroes, and they're basically going to head into the base, and the first thing they're going to do is use the rage spell and head into that uh, first inferno. The inferno is frozen along with the archer queen. Those are the two highest damage, uh, you know, outputting things in the defensive base. The second rage spell is going to go down, uh, the inferno goes down, and the heroes push through. The town hall is an easily, easily destroyed target, and they're going to basically smash their way into the middle of the base here. Um, they're going to get real close on percentage, but again, check the bag, and he's saved himself a giant three wizards and six archers. He's going to go ahead and deploy those as his troops in the core start to die off near 50%. All he needs to do is pick up just a couple buildings here, so he drops his giant in for distractions, backs them up with the wizards, and then the archers are going to go ahead and finish some buildings off there, so he gets his 50% two-star. Um, so guys, very, very easy method with the earthquake spell to go ahead and take out a base for two. Uh, sometimes it's not always you know, the smartest idea to go for three, especially when you need uh, your Town Hall 10s to potentially drop uh, to hit the Town Hall 9s to clean up. Uh, and you need to be successful on that first particular attack. Now let's go ahead and check one more attack here. P-Dunk coming at a similar style base with lots of junctions and lots of uh, smaller wall compartments. So he brings the quad quake once again on this base and the first thing that you're going to see is it go down right on top of the town hall and it eliminates that wall uh, around it. Now check this out. Pay attention to what he's opened. He's opened this entire compartment now, along with access to uh, the heroes. So, very, very nice job. That's like a third of the base right there. And then you'll notice on his, uh, his lure, he should be able to go ahead with the giant, get the attention of the defense, and then follow it up with about seven hog riders and take out some defense uh, that will open up a bunch of buildings uh, on the outside of this base. The lure's taken care of here. Uh, the key buildings go down. We'll fast forward through the luring process. He's just going to go ahead and drop the poison spell to weaken him up some. No other real use for it, uh, but had the space, so he uses it. Drags the troops out, groups them up, and he's just going to go ahead and take them out with a few archers and wizards. They go down pretty quickly, but notice the side of the base that he drops them on. Those troops come in, and they get some easy buildings taken out uh, simply because he had already cleared that area with the hogs. Now, on the other side of the base where the quake spell went down, two golems come in, backed up with the wizards like usual, and the giants in behind. You're going to notice that there's going to be some wall breakers come in. And they're going to open the wall, and then all of his troops are going to come in uh, to this base with his heroes, and then he's going to trail that with a few P.E.K.K.A.s. They're going to rage him up, go straight to the town hall here. Uh, very, very easily done once again by P.Dunk. And these are some high-level bases, guys. So uh, Freeze goes down on the Inferno Tower and the Queen, and that's going to allow those uh, troops to move in and take out the uh, Inferno Tower and the Queen very very quickly now again look what he's kept in the bag a couple giants as well as some archers to go ahead and clean up those final few percentage points uh, the troops are still busy in the core taking things out very very nice job 50% is already in hand uh, the queen is up all of the pekkas in the core are up and the archers are wreaking havoc on that bottom half of the base so it's gonna pick up the two-star no problem here and again guys obviously this isn't a three-star strategy if you're going for three the earthquake spell is probably not best used as the jump spell will take up less spell space uh, and achieve something similar but you can with the earthquake very very reliably uh, get that two-star because you don't necessarily need all of the spell space that you have at your disposal in order to reach a town hall and clear half the base so hopefully this has been helpful guys uh, for now this is power bang I'm signing out till next time have fun with that earthquake spell 
Thanks so much guys for checking out my video. If you feel like you learned something here today and you're a better attacker for having watched it, your clanmates will probably feel the exact same way. So do me a favor, share this video with them, get them to the channel, and chances are your clan's going to be exploding for three stars from top to bottom before you know it. Thanks and we'll catch you next time.